Hey guys, HF Masters here, and today we are reviewing the Quake Mech from the Lego Ninjago movie. This set retails for $90 in the United States and comes with 1,202 pieces. And I gotta say, from the front, the set looks pretty cool. It's got some like missiles firing, there's five minifigures, and we got a nice picture of the Quake Mech in the front. And then, of course, on the back, it shows off some of the features that we will be going over in the review. But now let's open this up. The Quake Mech all built up is probably the most different out of all the Ninjago Ninja Mechs. And there's a reason for this because, well, in the center there's just one gigantic wheel and if you haven't really seen anything about this you're probably wondering how it stands and in the back you can see that there is just an axle and what it does is it actually kind of leans the entire mech back just a tad bit and when you you can actually grab the mech and you angle it downward and that's how this set wheels which I think is pretty cool it works really well and I think it's quite, quite a interesting kind of feature that they've done to actually have this roll and still stand. It really works well, it's a nice execution, really good for playability. And in fact, just in general, the wheel is pretty detailed. As you can see, they have not been skipping out on any of these details. You see they've got the tube, they have the gear, which some may hate, some may like. I think it works for this. You have some small little detailing on the wheel and it's just in general really cool really nice and I have to say just a really good job good execution by Lego now probably the second coolest thing is probably gonna be the arms at least in my opinion I will say with the arms it is a little a bit heavy I have found that angling the arms upward it does kind of struggle a little bit um, that's just a little bit of a small flaw that it has not really too big of a deal though because the arms look awesome. They can move up and down. There's actually a ton of posability for the um, forearms. It's quite, quite impressive. You can turn it. Just so many things happening here. You can just move the entire arm up and down. The fingers also have so much articulation, which is crazy. And then the one big feature with the arms is on the top part there is an area that says quake on the right side or has a kind of like monkey holding like Wi-Fi bars or something I don't know it's, I don't really know what that's supposed to be but each of those does have a flap which can open up and you can see there's eight speakers inside and the top four will not shoot However, the bottom four are actually flick fire missiles, so you can shoot all four of those, and that's kind of cool. That's, you know, just a secret hidden weapon. The enemies won't know what hit them with that. And of course, in the middle, you've got these giant speakers, and you open it up, and you see Cole just jamming out. He's got his records there. He's just, you know, jamming out. He's controlling this mech, and he's, he's really causing some havoc. I gotta say, really like this. In general, this mech is really good, really solid build, a lot of nice things going on, nothing really sticks out too much, everything really just looks nice. Probably my only big complaint about this set, besides the kind of arm situation that's going on with the uh, kind of uh, like too much weight on, is probably the flags. I do wish that the monkey and the quake would be a little further apart it just feels a little too close and it feels like they're kind of like uh, just taking up each other's space but other than that I really have to say I do like just the and this the build in general really solid and really nice this set includes five minifigures being Mike the Spike, Crusher, Fred Finley, Misako, and Cole I'm just going to take a very quick look at Mike the Spike because the only thing new about this figure is the name Mike the Spike. Nothing else is new about him. Cool figure though, I like him, nice to have him again. Here's just a quick look at just the figure, the front and the back. And of course he has a fish uh, spear like a weapon. 
The next figure is Crusher, who is pretty cool. I like this figure a lot. Nice printing going on. He does have two different faces, one expression on the front and another expression on the back. Sadly, you can't really see it with the whole like orange crab mask thing on him, but I will take that off for you guys to see. He also does have a fish arrow spear weapon, which is kind of cool. like that a lot. So I know it's not, you know, it's not like a new weapon. However, I do like that one better than what Mike the Spike had. All right, we have the reporter Fred Finley, and I do like this figure. However, there really isn't too much going on with him. He has a nice suit, a cool microphone, and that's really about it. Very generic civilian figure, exclusive to this set. However, nice addition, and I do like him. All right, here is probably the most disappointing figure out of this entire set, Misako. Gotta say. She looks really awesome, really like her, nice printing, cool weapon. But then you get to the face, and the face is just so bad. It's ridiculous. If they would have just kept it all yellow, it would have been so much better. But, you know, now, now we have this kind of weird thing where it's like they did black and then they did yellow on black and it just doesn't work. It's, just, it's so awful. But... Whatever, I mean, still looks good, so that's a plus. The last minifigure is Cole, and this is a figure that we've gotten plenty of times. Nothing new here, just gonna take a quick look. I do like the hammer build, still really cool, I, just nice little thing. And in general, I do like the Cole figure. Not my favorite other ninja, but still a good version of Cole. Overall, I really like the Quake mech. There's a lot of good stuff going on here that I've mentioned earlier in the review. And in general, this set is really good. Now, the only big issue with the set is going to be the price. A lot of, you know, hardcore, like, fans of the movie are going to be able to get this. However, there are hardcore fans that are younger. They won't have $90 to spend. Luckily, this is coming out around, you know, the Christmas season. And I will say, I would definitely recommend this set. For anyone that has just a kid that enjoyed the Ninjago movie, because this set is really good, plays really well, really unique feature, and the figures in general are pretty solid. The only one I don't really like is Misako, and in general there's not really too much I dislike about this set. The only really big, like, huge complaint that I didn't mention during the Quake Mech section is the fact that there's no area to put Cole's weapon. However, I mean, you could just easily put that with Misako or someone else. But overall, I really like this set. I would definitely recommend this set. Until next time, this is HF Masters saying goodbye.